Joining me now is uh, Tom Owen Evans after Hereford's victory over Kettering. How pleasing was that for the squads tonight? For the squad tonight? Uh, yeah, really good. Obviously, uh, we wanted to keep the, the winning run going um, at home as well, and um, we wanted to score a few goals. Obviously, we've kept a lot of clean sheets recently, and we've sort of ground out sort of one nil results. But um, it was nice to get uh, three goals tonight, and obviously, no goals conceded. And you put the game to bed in the nine minute spell just after the first half. Yeah, well, to be fair, we looked at the stats and we've seen that. Uh, Kettering scored a lot of goals straight after half time, so we needed we needed to to start the second half quickly. Um, we played it last year, and I think they scored two uh, straight after half time. We were two one down, so we knew we needed to start quickly. We'd done that, scored two, and put the game to bed. How, how good was that to play in tonight? Because it it looked a bit stop start stop start, but you just just you were so patient. Yeah, it was it was quite tough. Obviously, the the first for me in particular, the first half and second half quite different. First half was quite scrappy. We sort of, it's it's hard. You, you see the hill. You might not see it from the stand, but uh, it it does make a difference. And sort of shooting up the hill with the wind, it's quite hard for us to get out at times. And they, you know, they have good deliveries into the box, and they they cause um, problems with set pieces. But you know, the back four and Brandon and and the midfield cope with that brilliantly tonight, and um, that gave us the platform then for the attackers to go and win the game. I've got to ask you, did you mean to hit the ball on target, or did you shank it a little bit for the opening goal? Um, do you want the honest answer? Or, uh, no, I, I meant to drive it to Hainsey and uh, Quaver towed it. And uh, I don't think the keeper, I'm not really sure what happened. I don't think he um seen it coming or whatever. And he's just sort of seen it late and it's just bounced in. Was it indirect? Because the goalkeeper could, could have just let it go in if uh, if it was indirect. Uh, I don't think it's indirect. I think it's just a normal free kick. So, um, yeah, I'll take that. I've sort of... Needed a bit of luck recently. I've sort of had one disallowed Saturday and things like that. Um, not really scored as many as I'd have liked to this year. But um, you know, hopefully that little bit of luck then got me into the game and then I got another one. Should have had three, maybe four um, tonight. So I'm disappointed with that at the same time. But uh, hopefully I can kick on now and keep scoring goals. How enjoyable is it to look over your shoulder to the back four who, who are, look, look rock solid now? It's massive. I mean, we're not conceding goals at all. Um, I mean, we're playing good football at the start of the season and we sort of be on top and then concede a goal and it's quite psychologically defeating because it sort of kills your momentum a bit. So, you know, to be able to have the trust in the back four and obviously Brandon as well, who's been absolutely amazing. Um, like I said, it gives us the, the freedom to go out and, and score goals. How far do you think you can go as a squad? I don't think there's any limits really. I mean, uh, I think last five games we scored nine, not conceded a goal. Uh, we were second bottom, what, a month ago, and I think we're level on points in the playoffs now, so we've played pretty much everyone in the league. Uh, I wouldn't say that there's been, obviously there's been games we've not played well in, but I think we've matched everyone in the league. The Fylde, Spenny Moores teams up there, um, and yeah, we've, we've no one to fear, and for me there's no limits, we want to go as far as we can. A lot of people who've watched Hereford, who are not necessarily Hereford supporters, say, I'm surprised by the pace that's in the Hereford team, that could pay dividends, couldn't it? Well, yeah, we didn't really have that last year or since I've been here. Um, and obviously you can see that it's a threat this year. And, you know, we've got we've had Miles, who's been out, who's unbelievable before he got injured. And, you know, we've got him to come back in the fold. We've got Fozzie, who's getting back fit. Uh, Pinch, who's not far away now. So they're like three key players who are playing really well for us. So, you know, we've got a strong squad and the boys have to keep performing because there's boys that are coming back that'll be knocking on the door. And the confidence level must be very, very high. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we've got confidence in the back four, so that gives us massive confidence then to go forward. We're not conceding goals. If you don't concede goal, you don't lose games of football. So you're at least going to get a draw from the game, do you know what I mean? So it gives us that platform to then go and express ourselves and score goals. And last five games, we've done that. Well, well done today. Thank you.